Hey guys, welcome back to this lecture, Grafana installation. In this lecture, we will install Grafana along with our Prometheus stack and we will see how we, we can integrate it with the Prometheus in upcoming lecture. So let us quickly jump on to the demo now. So uh, as you can see on the screen, I'm inside my Linux machine where my all the containers are running related to Prometheus. Let me just quickly have a look over it. Okay, so now what I'll do, I will run a container for Grafana here in the in this stack and then we will see uh, okay so let us quickly do one thing i'm inside my prometheus stack directory where i have the docker compose file so what i will do first i will uh, down the entire this stack okay so let me bring it down and then i will update the docker compose file for the grafana container and then we will again bring it up so let us wait for it to complete okay it is completed now now let us go inside our docker compose file okay and now at the end okay let us add the definition of grafana container here okay so i'll quickly add it here just a second okay so i'll explain uh, what are the different attributes i'm using the grafana grafana oss image for this container okay this is available in docker hub host name I'm, I'm giving as grafana and depends on prometheus primary means this container will come up after prometheus primary comes up okay so it depends on this container now ports what is the port mapping of container and the host now this is the volume mount which I, i'll create for the grafana so we need to create an entry of this in the volumes in the top of the file so let let us do it in some time okay now these are the environment variables i'm setting up for my grafana container okay so the very first uh, environment variable is gf security admin password this is the very first user okay which is created for our grafana login okay if you set it up default as admin then at at the time of login you will be forced to change it so we'll see it when we'll go inside the grafana okay now the next thing is uh, grafana users allow sign up we have set it up false because we don't want you just to sign up in, inside my grafana instead i want to control my users management more strictly so i the only the users which i'll create inside the grafana will be allowed to sign in okay now the next is gf install plugin these are some plugins we will be installing these plugins will be used while creating the visualization okay so grafana simple json data source uh, plugin it is and this is the clock panel uh, plugin now the next is gf log mode this environment variable is needed if you want to write the logs of your grafana inside console and file both right if by default it uh, writes the logs to console only so if you want to write to log as well then you'll have to change it to file or you can make it file only here you can remove the console at all okay now the next attribute or next environment variable is aws sdk load config so it is required when you want to connect your grafana with your aws account okay or aws service uses the using the sdk so this is what i have set up as true means if my aws sdk is already installed in my machine where grafana is running it will take the configs from there now auth sig4 auth enable true this environment variable is required if you want to authenticate your grafana request with the aws resources okay now let's say you want to integrate your grafana with amazon managed prometheus okay or cloudwatch in that case how would the open source grafana which is running in my instance would will authenticate with the aws services okay so that's where this sig4 authentication comes into the picture and we have set it up as true now the network i have defined back tier and front tier both because this will work in the front okay and the restart policy i've given is always so now let us save it now it's time we bring up the cluster okay what it is saying service group on refers to undefined volume okay that's because we have not created a entry for the volume mount on the top of the file so let us do one thing let us copy it here And let's go to top of the file and let us create an entry for grafana mount point here
okay now save it and then again okay so it is pulling the grafana image now and will create the container for us so let's see if it comes up fine okay so now let us check the containers which are running for me okay so grafana container is up and running now so let us do one thing let us try to uh, access it over port 3000 so before browsing it let us do one thing let us create a security rule for this port so that i can access it from my browser let me go to security group let us add it in inbound rules and let me add the new rule here for 3000 port and ip will be mine okay now let us get the public ip of the instance and try to access grifano on 3000 port okay so it is loading now guys so let it load okay so it is asking me for email and username so what i have done here admin admin okay it is the default username is grafana and the password which we have set up in the environment variable okay so uh, admin now i'll log in it's saying invalid username password okay okay so now it is able to log in so default username guys it is admin only and the password we have set as admin in the environment variable so it asked us to change the password here okay so let us keep the password uh, whatever you want in my case i will set it up test rate 1 to 3 rate 1 to 3 and i will submit it or you can skip it as well if you don't want to uh, reset it okay so here you are on the grafana console grafana is up and running here now so i'll let me take you through the web ui which it provides okay so the very first thing explore where you can see all the data once you attach the data source with the grafana so every data source which you create is visible here by default it is showing grafana but in grafana we do not have any data right so once i'll integrate my prometheus with this grafana then i'll be able to see the data that is coming to grafana via prometheus okay now the next thing is here dashboards you can create the dashboard here also you can create the folders let's say there is general folder already there i want to create a folder for infrastructure related dashboards okay so if i go back to browse i can see two folders here okay so now i can distribute my dashboards in different folders and then i can assign the entire folder to particular user or a group so that's how this folder and permissions work okay now okay here you can search your dashboard once you have now let us go to the configuration part in the configuration we have data sources this is where we create the data source okay so these are all the data sources that are available and that can be integrated directly with the grafana so this is what we were talking about it has a very rich library of direct integration okay so we don't need to install anything for this it comes directly and you can directly provide the endpoint and can start using it okay and now there are find more data source plugins of grafana.com so there are other data sources available as well which you can uh, explore in the grafana.com their official website okay so this was about the da uh, data sources now here you can uh, in the users you can set up or create your user management okay you can use the email name and you can see the last scene you can create the teams here where you can club the multiple users in a single team you can use the plugins these are all the plugins okay available these are the plugins so this is the plugin which uh, we have passed in the environment variable as well if you remember we have passed two plugin and these are few others as well which you can use for as per your requirement now next we have preferences this is related to some configuration related to your gui like, like what is the time zone okay what will be the language and home dashboard and everything here are your api keys okay so this is a, you can create the api key for uh, your grafana and you, use, you can use that api key 
to integrate with other systems okay here are the service accounts which you can create and use for uh, your services which wants to connect to your grafana so this is about grafana guys now here again you can see users organization settings stats and license this is your change password sign out notification history preferences okay so this was about the grafana web ui so i have given you the very brief overview so once you'll get into the system you will start learning more and more detail on it as we cannot <laughs> cover everything inside this lecture so now let us quickly jump on to the next lecture where we will integrate our grafana with the prometheus okay guys so i'll see you in the next lecture thank you